Hey guys, what's up? Power of Boxing here. And Manny Pacquiao, as of right now, is retired. Uh, could come back. A lot of people think he'll come back. And one of the fights that Freddie's been mentioning, Bob Air mentioned, and fans mentioned, is Pacquiao versus Canelo. Uh, and the reason why I'm making this video is because it's about, it's kind of, uh, what do you call it? I'm kind of criticizing Canelo Alvarez right now just the way he's he's running his career at the moment the fact that he holds the WBC middleweight title and he's not fighting middleweights uh why sh he should have to vacate the title uh uh anyway uh they've been talking about Manny Pacquiao facing Canelo and it's kind of ridiculous because uh why isn't Canelo fighting, uh, gonna fight? Why isn't he talking about facing Gennady Golovkin? Not talk about facing Pacquiao. Pacquiao can move down to 130, probably maximum. He can probably go down to 130. Uh, he could, pro he can easily make 135, but Pacquiao could probably go down to 130. And this guy who's walking around at 180, Canelo wants to fight Pacquiao because we all know Pacquiao's would beat him and. The only thing, though, that and if Canelo did beat Pacquiao, we only there's only one reason why, and there's only one reason why people would bet on Canelo and would think Canelo can beat Manny, and we all know it's size. If you take away Canelo's size, there is no discussion about him facing Pacquiao. He would lose a hundred percent. He'd lose ten out of ten times. So really, it's just the size. Uh, I think Canelo is overrated. Uh, reason why I'm criticizing him, I just watched an interview with Gennady Golovkin, and he's even criticizing Canelo, saying, why do you have the middleweight title and you want to fight a, a Manny Pacquiao when Pacquiao is just so much smaller than you, when, when really the fact is that Gennady Golovkin says that Canelo walks around at the same weight I walk around at. We're both the same size. So why does he want to fight Pacquiao? That's just... That's not respecting boxing, he says. That's not respecting the boxing weights. Uh, and it's true. Like, what is this? He's fighting Amir Khan. That was a kind of, like, I thought it was a joke, to be honest, at the start. Obviously, the only reason why people are interested now is because it can be competitive. But it's, be it's because Amir Khan's skills are better. His speed's better. He's, like... If they were about the same weight, you would pick Amir Khan to win easily. But the fact that Amir Khan's chin is no good, and uh, he's fighting a huge man, like, put two together. Weak chin, huge man. That's why people don't want to see the fight. But if Amir Khan had a good chin and he demonstrated that, everyone would be picking Amir Khan to win. And if Canelo didn't have such a huge size advantage, like... Come on, you know what I mean? So anyway, Canelo's just using his size, uh, obviously, to win the fight. If he fought Pacquiao, it would just be the size again. When he fought Mayweather, it was all about size, too. So why don't we put him against a guy the same size as him with skills? What's going to happen? That's what I want to find out. Uh, I think Canelo is a good fighter. Do I think he's a great fighter? No. Do I think he's an elite fighter? No, I do not think he's an elite fighter. He is overrated. Uh, he's obviously the champion out uh, middleweight right now. Gennady Golovkin's ranked number one. Uh, Daniel Jacobs ranked number two. This is according to Bo uh, Ring Magazine, the ring.com. So, anyway, yeah, pretty much I want to see uh, Canelo fight guys, middleweight guys. That's all I'm saying. I want to see him fight David Lemieux. I want to see him fight Andy Lee. I want to see him fight uh, just any Daniel Gill or I just I don't even care. I just want to see him fight one. I want to see him fight at one sixty. I want to see him fight at one sixty. That's it. And if he's the champion, he should be fighting top ten guys at one sixty. That's my opinion. Uh, he wants to fight Pacquiao. Well, he didn't say himself he wants to fight Pacquiao, but obviously, who wouldn't want to when you make that kind of money? And why wouldn't you when? You're fighting such a small guy compared to yourself. It's much harder when you're the smaller man in there. And you just box yourself. Box a bigger guy and, and like yourself. Go to the gym. 
put on boxing gloves, go spar someone who's way bigger than you, and you'll know you're at a disadvantage right there. Reach-wise, you feel like you can't uh, reach effectively to the bigger man. You feel like you have to get really close inside, and you feel like uh, it's just the presence of the bigger man. You feel like you, 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 have, you have to expend more energy. And so really, Gennady Golovkin's right. I've been saying it. Uh, it ties together with Canelo's overrated. Uh, and he's not like, what is this fighting at 155 for his fight? Defending the title, the middleweight title at 155. Are you like, that's come on now. Anyway, uh, he's fighting Amir Khan next. They're talking about him facing Pacquiao, though, but that couldn't happen, I don't think. Pacquiao has never fought over uh, 150 catch weight, and Canelo has only went down to one. He, he, he fought Mayweather at a catch weight at 152. So, I don't see Canelo even going down to 152 anymore. But if it did happen, maybe it would be at 152, but it wouldn't be any higher than 152. I can't see that. It wouldn't be... Uh, at 154, Pacquiao didn't even fight Margarito at 154 in his prime. I don't think he'll fight him now. Uh, a guy, uh, a full-fledged uh, uh, super welterweight at this stage in his career. And I don't think he'll even fight Canelo at this stage in his career. I don't think he should. But obviously, we, we know he can beat Canelo. We know he's better than Canelo. It's just uh, Canelo's such a big guy. Uh, so... All I gotta say is Canelo fight at 160, fight Gennady Golovkin, and anyway, they got, I think pound for pound, uh, they got Canelo ranked number seven. Uh, I dis, I don't know, I, I probably disagree with that. I disagree with the, the, the majority of the list that they have here on the top pound for pound rankings on the, the ring.com. I disagree with a lot of the picks. Uh, I don't think... Like Andre Ward shouldn't be number four. Uh, Terrence Crawford shouldn't be number six. Like these guys, really, they haven't beat that many guys. And like Andre Ward's been guys, but that was years ago. Terrence Crawford, really, he's been Gamboa. That's pretty much it. Uh, Kel Brooks, number 10. I would switch him out with Timothy Bradley. Put Timothy Bradley in the top 10. They don't even have Timothy Bradley in the top 10. So that's another video. But bottom line, this video was talking about how Canelo is not fighting at 160. Uh, Gennady Golovkin doesn't like what he's doing there. He, he thinks he's, that's not respecting the boxing weight classes. Uh, he doesn't like how he wants to... How they're talking about Pacquiao versus him. And not, Pac, not uh, Canelo versus him. Uh, Golovkin. Uh, he doesn't like how they're not talking about Canelo versus him. They're talking about Canelo versus Pacquiao. And that's not fair to Pacquiao. The, the guy walks in, the guy walks around like 180, 1, 175, 180. He walks in the ring at 175, the same as Golovkin. So, fight Golovkin. I could understand you want a couple more fights before you fight Golovkin, but start fighting full fledged well, uh, middleweights, and uh, then you'll get more prepared because when the time comes, you're not even going to be close to ready when you're fighting guys at 155 and you hold the middleweight title. Like, I can understand. I would respect more if he uh, vacated the title, went back to 154. But don't fight. Don't hold the middleweight title when you're not fighting on middleweight. Uh, I just don't think he has any... I, he's going to... I think he'll last against Triple G because his dura his durability, but he'll eventually get knocked out. He'll get TKO by by Triple G. But anyway, let me know your thoughts on it. I agree with Golovkin, uh, and uh, check out uh, the interview. Uh, I think it was it was a uh, fight hub by Marcus Vegas Vegas. Uh, I think I, I'll. I'll try to find it and post it in the link if I find it. Um, but anyway, yeah, power boxing, power down.